This is something about gold you may have never known or someone may have never shown you. I hope it helps. All right, well, welcome back to another episode of Cash and Coins. This time I'm going to talk to you about the real value of gold. I'm going to go back into the 1970s, see what a car costed, see what gold costed back in the 1970s, and we'll show you the real value of gold. But I want to compare it with other things of value. Like here's an old necklace. It's called the Incomparable. It's diamond. Uh, it's 18 karat gold. This thing is valued at $55 million. Of course, the jewelry is valued for its artistic um, value. But let's look at a couple other things. So let's look at other valuables. The oldest gold artifacts ever found are 6,500 years old. These are dating back from about uh, 4,600 BC. They also have King Tut's uh, gold mask. Everyone's familiar with that. That's made of two types of gold, 18 karat gold and 22 karat gold. But as you see throughout history, gold is valuable. Here in the Americas, in South America, we have the Kalima mask. And this mask is about 2,000 years old, and it's made of 86% gold, 13% silver, and 1% copper. Then we have a good old U.S. American gold. This 1933 St. Augusta St. Gaudens coin is valued at $7.5 million, and it was sold back in 2002. So let's go now to the 1970s. Let's go to April. We're in the month of April 2020, and as you see there, $35.35 for one ounce of gold. I wish it was at that price. Let's look at a car. So we'll go down here and look, and we can see that a car in 1970s cost about $3,542, right? So that would be 10, I mean, 100 ounces of gold you would need. So the price of one gold ounce was $35.35 in April 1970s. The price of a car in April 1970s was $3,542. So 100 troy ounces of gold to buy a new car. 100 troy ounces of gold in 1970 would be $3,535. Let's look at today's prices here. You see $1,643 for one troy ounce of gold. As you see, it's gone up consider considerably from that for $35. Now let's look at the price of car, a car today in uh, 2020. Kelly Blue Book says the average price is $33,000 for a new car. Let's put this in perspective. 100 troy ounces of gold today will equal $164,300. And according to Kelly Blue Book, the average price is $33,000 in 2020 for a new car. Here we have one at $28,350. The one they're showing is actually $36,000. All right, so if we take that 100 ounces of gold, it's worth $164,300. Minus the price of a car today, $33,000. And that'll leave us with $131,000 cash left over. So you see gold really retain, retains and holds and even increases in value. So what am I telling you with this is if you stack gold, if you save gold, if you collect gold, it's going to hold its value. We don't know what's going to happen in the next 50 years. If gold will continue to go up, but... And if you look at historical prices, that's what you'll notice. The main thing I want you to get out of this is, historically, you see, gold has value. It has a lot of value. And it only goes going up and up in value. So you can use this to maintain your wealth. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but this is one thing that I do to um, maintain my wealth. It's like an insurance for me. So, uh, and you see I'm showing here some fractional gold. You don't always have to spend money on the big one ounce or, you know, 10 ounces of gold. You can start off small. That smallest one there is, is one gram. So go out there and stack as much gold as you can. And if you like, 
uh, what you heard on this video, please like and subscribe and tell me your thoughts on the value of gold. Thank you.